Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we're looking at pro tracking tips. This is because I have nearly reached 2,500 hours in Daisy standalone, and it's occurred to me that certain things that I do are automatic, but yet they're very handy when you're trying to track down a player for whatever reason. And I thought I'd share them here with you today. All the experts out there will know these already, but hopefully most of you, some of you, will learn something here that will help enhance your Daisy standalone experience. Tip one, zombies rarely spawn together. If you do see a pair like this pair you'll see coming up next, generally because they have been aggroed by a player and have followed him, therefore coming together. If they're still together and they're facing in one direction, that generally means that that player has come by fairly recently, and that's because zombies move across the map and will change their position. So two zombies, three or even four as a better, far better indicator will often mean someone had just been through that zone, the zombies haven't had time to wander off and they're looking the direction in which the player ran off or escaped. Tip two. This is a really simple one, one I found very effective and that is gates. The large gates especially seem to spawn shut. So if you see one that is open, it's generally an indicator that someone has passed through that zone. They don't default to shut, but I find it more often than not that they are. This is my own experience, and I found it very useful when tracking players. Tip three. Whereas previously we've seen you can use zombies as a direction indicator, you can also use them as an alarm system. What you can do is trap a zombie in a house that near to your location that you may be waiting or tracking through. If someone else passes near that zombie, they will, the zombie will see them through the window and cry out. And the zombie cry can be heard for some distance. Tip four. Controlling a zone can be hugely beneficial when tracking a player, especially around a town rather than straight through a town. If you enter into a zone, why not close all the doors on some cars or some houses? Keep it in your mind that those were closed, kind of give yourself a visual reference and then head on. When you circle back round, if those doors are open, then someone is very close, especially if you haven't been gone for long. I mean, this slots nicely in with the fact that if you enter into town, all the doors are open. It's pretty obvious that someone's been through there at some point. But by closing the doors and all the boots to cars say, it's definitely a very good indicator that someone is close to you within a particular time span. So control the looting zones. Tip five. And probably the most obvious tip, but yet the thing that people most struggle with is map knowledge. If you're tracking somebody through a village, the chances are they're gonna be heading to the nearest village with the best buildings. What you need to be aware of is, is there a shortcut cross country to get to that town first? So you can intercept them en route or ambush them when they arrive. Do you know your map? And if you don't keep a map to hand, have it on another tab so you can tab out and check. You need to do this quickly because they'll obviously be moving at speed doing what they do. Yet, they may also be loosing up as they go. So if you head towards the next town, they may well roll into that town a few minutes later. And another important thing about the map as well is to understand and know where the police stations are in any town. That's often where people are heading and if you can go there in that direction, the chances are, if you find a nice viewpoint, you'll be able to see people going in and out of that police station. Police stations at the moment are where you get the most loot, the quickest. Okay guys, so I hope you found these tips useful. If you did, click the thumbs up down below. I certainly find these tips helpful when I'm playing Daisy Standalone, and so I hope you do too. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.